Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Today, we're fighting a new battle in here because there is an ability that we can get from the Briarios? I don't know. But first things first, let's go ahead and put Maribel into our party so that we can take advantage of trying to grab this ability. I probably should have done that beforehand, but I wasn't really thinking about it. So let's see, we'll go, go ahead and fight off that Giga Cloud, Skill Crane, this guy, and you just defend. The Giga Cloud has 1,400 HP, and it's weak to Earth, just like everything else in here, except for that thing that I bought yesterday, which wasn't on my Beast Cherry, which was lovely. Uh, the other guy, the Briarios, um, has 700 HP, and it can teach you the Air Slash ability, which, as you probably can figure out, deals wind elemental damage to all enemies. It's pretty nice for Marigold to have. Ha hey, and she got it. Sweet. Whoa. Oh, wow, that's really crappy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and, uh, whoa, we'll miss. Yeah, I really wanted to one-shot this guy, uh, but that doesn't seem to be happening. He doesn't have that much HP. Well, anyway, yeah, um, I only had to run around here. Wow, he has a lot of evasion. Like, holy shit, if I knew he had this much evasion, I would have had Maribel cast a spell. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. I don't know, Thunderbolt, do whatever. I don't really care, Maribel. Just, like, kill this guy. This is crazy. Oh, it's about time. And all that for a crappy blue magic skill I'm probably never going to use. So let's just uh, continue on through here. Let's see. Here we have some pedestals. And we got some pieces last time, and here we have our clue as far as what we need to do on these pedestals. So we have the Sea of Wind, Journey to the Stars, Passing Displays of Color Order. Sure. It's not really a good clue, but I'm just going to tell you what to do. The first thing that you need to do is put the star piece on down here. Then go here and you put the sun piece. Basically, we're going from outer space... Um, to closer down to Earth. So stars are in outer space, then the sun, then as you get closer, you get to the moon, and then finally, the last celestial object that you would meet would be the clouds. So, yeah, there we are. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out, but there's a lot of things in Wild Arms 2 that I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to figure it out. You just kind of do. You use JRPG logic, sometimes even NES logic. What's going on with Puka? Huh, that was odd. What's this? Empathite or something? Oh. Yeah, who is this? What's going on? Is this a guardian? The will of power, the spirit of wing. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, Irving was talking about how there's mana in these various ray points, so I guess this is, like, the mana of wind, or wing, in this case. And what is your reason to fight? Oh, you still don't know your reason? Well, you gotta come up with something, Tim. Just lie to it. I mean, come on. Anything. Oh. Okay. Oh, well that's just lovely. Again, Tim, if you don't know, just lie to it. What the hell does this thing know? Just say that your reason to fight is that you want to be a hero or something. You know, anything. Oh, what's going on? Where'd you go? Oh yeah, Gaia did ask you that. Huh. I do remember that. Whoa. The reason you fight is fate? That's not really a good reason. Yeah, so you're not gonna risk your life because it's your destiny. That's Cannon's job. Maribel's job, too. You fight because you're afraid of death? That's not a good reason for fighting either. I would think that you would go hide if you were afraid of death. Oh. Huh. So who are you thinking of besides yourself? Whoa. Oh, Colette. Wow, you look creepy all enlarged like that. 
Especially on an HD screen. Man, that's, uh, something else right there. Oh, you wanted to protect her! Huh. So Ashley's fighting for a woman, and you're fighting for a woman. Okay... Can't anybody have, like, their own reason? Like, a reason inside of themselves as far as why do they want to fight? They have to fight for women all the time? I don't know. That's some JRPG logic right there, I guess. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell, lady? We're over here fighting for you, and you want us to drop dead? Screw you! Ooh! I'm not fighting for you anymore. You suck! Wow. What a bitch. What's her problem? Oh. You're the pillar? I thought Tim was the pillar, not the other Tim. Who is this other Tim? Like, his conscience or something? Oh, everybody's telling her to die. Oh, hey, Puka. Oh. Do you know what the reason is? I don't think that Timmed is a contraction, but sure, whatever game. Man, this translation is down there with Trails of Zero. Like, it really is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, don't fight for somebody else. Don't fight because it's fate or destiny or you're the pillar or some random girl that you haven't said two words to. Like, that's the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, you saw her, you thought that she was pretty, and all of a sudden you're going to risk your life for her. You haven't even, like, had a real conversation with her. It's just... Ridiculous. Yeah, so there has to be some reason why you really are fighting Tim, and don't give me that crap about Colette either. She just told you to drop dead, so she obviously doesn't mean anything to you. Oh. Who exactly do you want to protect, though? I mean, you're an orphan. I guess it's the other members of ARMS, or your friends. Your friend Scott. I hate Scott. Tony I can deal with. Scott, not so much. Oh, well, that's fine. She can go drop dead. Like, I'd give a damn. I don't, I don't care two craps about Colette. Screw her. She's, again, she's not close to you. You don't even know her. You've met her exactly one time. Like, what is this? Are we supposed to believe that they have, like, some sort of, like, star-crossed love or something going on here? Because, like, honestly, he's never really even met her. Like, he barely even knows her name. Oh. Okay, so the reason that you fight is so that no more pillars have to be born and no one else has to be sacrificed. That's actually a pretty decent reason, I've got to say. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer, and it's a lot better than, Well, I fight because of Colette. Yeah, no. Not a really good answer. Although I guess Colette would be the next pillar who is sacrificed, so in a sense you kind of are fighting for a Colette. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, yeah, that is true. I guess Puka is going against Gaia's orders. Because Tim isn't going to be the pillar, and Tim isn't going to sacrifice himself. Huh. Is Puka allowed to go against Gaia's orders? I thought that Puka was like a slave to Gaia, and he had to pretty much do exactly as told. Oh. Maybe Puka's actually gaining, like, a will of his own? Yeah. Oh, there's multiple Pukas. There's not just you. Huh. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, so are you not going to be Puka anymore? Are you going to transform into something else? Aww. Aww. So Puka found himself as well. That's sweet. Yeah, so she's, like, no longer bound by, uh, Destiny's Chains either, just like Tim. I like it. Good for Puka. 
This would probably be much more impactful and meaningful if this translation wasn't so shoddy, but eh, whatever, it is what it is. Wait, you're 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 leaving? What do you mean you're leaving? Poor Puka. So I guess because Puka actually found himself, Puka had to turn into something else or become something else or leave or maybe he was dissolved or transformed or you know taken back inside of Gaia oh and who are you oh hey it's Puka wow you came back within like two dialogue boxes yeah I tried to make it seem like he actually died did I do a good job of it probably not <laughs> Oh, so this is a new Puka? Or is it the same Puka, but just with a new personality? Oh, huh. Okay, so you turn back into light, and then... Oh, you were able to amplify your powers. Huh. So you come back as, like, a more powerful Puka? Is it just me, or does it look like Puka's like wearing sunglasses? I don't know. Maybe it's just the eyeballs. Maybe it's the sprites. I don't know. But it really looks like he's like the new and improved Puka with sunglasses. Like he's like really cool, like from the early 90s, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, great. So we've unlocked Wing's mana. Nice. Oh. Okay, like what? Ha hey The high combination force is what? Ha hey Awesome. Oh, okay. Huh. So basically, it is a new uh, level 4 force ability for Tim, and he's able to deal a lot more damage whenever he uses 100 FP and summons a Guardian. So, that's kind of nice. Oh, you first heard... What? What is it, Puka? The voice that taught Puka about Puka? What, like the god of Pukas? What are they talking about? That's so weird. I don't know. Okay. So, let's get on out of here. And thankfully it actually warps you out of there. You know what, actually, let me look at where I am. I need to go all the way over to um, Palace Village area, which should be right on down here to get to our next Raypoint, which is Raypoint Flam. Hopefully I end up on the right side of the uh, world map. Let's see, oh, really game, really? Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense how I did that. But yeah, you wanna head on over here, Palace Village is, oh, there's Monster Island. We'll deal with that later. But yeah, Palace Village is right over here. But as you can see right next to Palace Village, we have something. I don't know what it is, let's go check it out. What's this? Raypoint Flam! Let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, here we are inside the uh, Raypoint. Since last time, I did a little bit of changing. Basically, I just went to the magic shop and I put the High Aqua spell on the Crest E so that uh, Lilka can cast that at half the MP cost. Remember, we got that back in the Pirate's Warren, and hopefully that should help me out in some battles ahead. And here we get the Change Rod. Basically what you can do with these little yellow blocks here, if you shoot them, well, I'll just show you. Let's see, let's put Loka on here, and I'll show you what, exactly what it does. You shoot them with a the Change Rod, boom, turns into a gem. If you turn, if you have a gem, boom, turn it back into a block. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Makes it so there's uh, some more puzzles through here. Let's go ahead and use our wire hook, get on over there. You could have used the Mist Cloak to get on over there if you wanted to, but the wire hook is nice because it doesn't make you have to um, do the Raypoint wing first. Okay, just keep on going through here. And those big gems also restore a lot of HP too, so they're really handy to have around. BAM! Yeah. Oh, here we have a new enemy. Let's see what we got going on here. Whoa! This guy's huge! The Devanova. 
My beast cherry says that he is weak to Earth. So I'm going to try an Earth ring uh, with Ashley and uh, do it that way. Let's see. Do you have any kind of Earth magic? I don't think that you do, actually, now that I really look. Um, I guess you could use this non-elemental spell. Sure, whatever. And then have Ashley attack. This guy has 3,000 HP. It can drop full revives, though, which is kind of nice. And apparently it's weak to Earth. It's the only thing in here that's weak to Earth. I mean, everything else is weak to water, so... Yeah, that's kind of odd. It's also kind of odd that Maribel doesn't have an Earth-based spell yet. Huh, I guess it is weak to Earth. Who knew? Okay, so let's keep on going on through here. We can't get that treasure chest yet. And then here, what you want to do is light the red um, candles here. And do not light the other ones. They'll vanish, and we can move on. These puzzles in here are really easy compared to the Raypoint wing puzzles. Those things were kind of devious, if you ask me. Anyway, let's head on down here and get some treasure! Oh, nice! Oh, wow! Sweet! Whoa! Yeah, one of every single apple. Very, very nice. Go ahead and use the chain rod there, and then change it again, change it again. There we are. Go ahead and grab those. Might as well. You want that middle block to be, or the middle block to stay, um, is, is really what I should say. Let's see what we got going on here. The Giga Flame. Okay, this guy has 1,400 HP. It is weak to water. Um, I guess you can keep the Earth Ring on next, now that I think about it. And I guess you can have the uh, Water Ring. There we go. Since you're going to go first anyway, Cannon, and you can probably kill it in one shot, since this guy only has 1,400 HP. And yeah, down he goes. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay, so moving right along. The reason why you wanted that one block um, to stay an actual block rather than to stay a gem is for this reason right there. Yeah, by hitting that block right there, you're able to open up this door. And then we can get that treasure chest that we saw earlier that we uh, just kind of bypassed because we couldn't get to it. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, a Gimmel coin. Wow. I don't think that we've gotten Gimmel coins since like the very beginning of the game, like way back in like the Withered Ruins. How many continues do I have? I have seven, because we started with five, we got one in the Withered Ruins, and then we just got that one right there. That's kind of crazy. Like, why even bother having the Gimbal Coins? They're so useless. Okay, so here what you want to do is light up all the candles. There we go. And then use your Freeze Rod and freeze out the gray ones. There we are. Very simple, very easy. Yeah, the puzzles in here are nothing compared to those Raypoint Wing puzzles that we had to go over. And then just move and groove right along through here. Let's see what we got going on. Ah! Oh, you know what? I'll still be able to make it now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Let's go back down here. I didn't want to do that, but I should be able to. Since I have Tim's Mist Cloak, I should be able to mist over um, that little gap right there. Uh-oh. Okay, let's give this a shot right on the wow. edge. Come on, Tim. Woohoo! We made it. Yeah. Ooh, get the Holy Tablet. That's pretty nice. I'm going to give that to Lilka. Um, that's going to raise her magic stat by a ton. Look at that! It's going to be so good! And uh, just continue on our way. Let's see. Okay, in here, these um, candles are... I don't know. I don't know what you would call them. I'm just going to call them candles. They go out eventually, so you got to be pretty quick whenever you light all three of them at the same time to move on to the next door. And uh, let's see what we got going on down here. Yeah, so down here, we're going to... Oh, no, don't shoot fire at it. We want to shoot the change rod at all three of these blocks. Come on, Loka. There we are. So then we can head on over those blocks to get some treasure. Let's see what we got going on down here. Whoa. Oh, this is one's new. I was about to cancel it, too. Glad I didn't. Okay, we have the Havrim and the Giga Flame. Uh, you can go ahead and go after the uh, Giga Flame. This Havrim only has 720 HP. It is weak to water, and it can drop big berries. So I'm just gonna have the other guys go after him since the Giga Flame has more HP. Cannon with her water ring should be able to uh, take him out. I'm kind of surprised just how fast Maribel is. She's faster than Ashley. Loka is still faster than her, and Cannon as well. But you know, she's she's nice to have around. 
gotta say. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, the gauntlets! That is the third accessory that we have so far that raises your defense. And it's actually, it, like, it raises your defense by quite a bit. It's kind of odd, though, that, um, you know, we had just gotten the kid gloves of the Pirate Warren. Like, okay, so we got three accessories that raise your defense. We got the mittens, way back at the beginning of the game. Like, way back there. Then you get the kid gloves. And then, like, immediately after that, you get the gauntlets. Like, I feel like the kid gloves should have been, like, in the middle of the game rather than towards the end of the game. That's just me, though. Okay, so here, um, again with our fire rod. We have to light these really quickly, and I'm not good at lighting things really quickly. I'm not good at doing things like this, but I'm gonna try my best. Come on, Luca! Woohoo! Oh, man. Oh, that's stressful. Whew. God, but I did it. I made it. Sweet. And what awaits us down here? Find out next time on the exciting conclusion of Raypoint Flam. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.